everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when the stuff happens, because here we are. We're in the warehouse, because I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, the last video, I didn't, uh, I had missed the part where I recorded where I actually blew up stuff to get to it, and it is possible regardless. I don't know. Um, there's always going to be naysayers out there. I'm just trying to find a spot I don't mind losing. Uh, that tile looks nice. I'd hate to ruin it. <laughs> I wonder if we could blow up the roof. I didn't even think about that. That'd be interesting. Uh, let's do some interestingness. And uh, let's see. Can I get up here? We're gonna try and blow up the roof. So I made. I, I, I'm sorry about the length of time between the last video and this video. I have been grinding a lot. I need a lot of chests, and we needed more mats. So I have just been been at it like like serious business so uh, i apologize for the, the break and stuff but that's just how it is in this game you gotta you gotta grind away to get where you want to get to and um we're gonna do some builderizations today as you probably can tell from the thumbnail too uh also i want to thank you guys so much for hey for hanging out the videos uh, leaving comments and likes and all that good stuff like that i really do appreciate the support uh and yeah big time you guys are amazing so anyway we're gonna try this up here we're gonna put this up here i'm gonna oh there's a nice trim there's trim everywhere though I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe this is this concrete. Yeah, it looks like concrete. Uh, let's try this out. So you can put, you can build on lifts in the warehouse. So I built that. That's what I did last time, and then I just shot the explosive, and it blew up a hole. Where was that? So that's how I got in there. Figured you guys would see that. Um, there goes the whole cardboard stack, but it doesn't really matter. I figured that corner was fine, if anything, to to, to make it explode. Interesting. Oh, I like the wiring. That's from the original stuffs. Cool. But I figured I'd show you that at least. Um, and that way, you know, like, that's how I got in those spots is just by putting a lift down, throwing down explosives, and boom, it's done. So we're going to head back over to the uh, testing area. I know the scrap mechanic, scrap workshop, mechanic workshop area, but it's the testing grounds for us currently. We're going to have to move locations once we move to the base. Oh, by the way, um, I've been wanting to build a new base for quite a while, and I'm glad I haven't yet because uh, the, the uh, storage management issue is getting real y'all um you know with all the mats and all the stuff we've been grinding and stuff like that the storage management is is getting real so uh yeah that that's uh I, i'm glad because i wasn't in my mind of what i was just thinking of doing was did not afford for so much storage uh and i think i'm gonna have to start transitioning to only interactive chests since uh this well i don't know we'll see how it goes <sighs> anyway uh i'm gonna head back to the place which is the ranch, which is the testing grounds, and we're gonna get to work because we have. I want to build the final one of the final forms of the scorpion and miner. And my car is gone. And my car is on the roof. Okay, I'm gonna go to the roof and grab my car, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I figured I could show you what I've got working on this this woodcutter so far. Um, I found out that I looked what well, I out. I looked and saw that the baby cactuses uh, had the same amount of friction and weight dispersal as the big ones. So I and they're really cheap, one flower, one metal. So I just made a bunch of them and stuck them on the front of this and did some spacing. Also found that the saws flat will still cut logs and you get more surface area to for for stuff. And then I also tucked in our blades in the front to cut the the tree slash stump and then it angles down at the last rotation and then I, I have it on a button just to just get enough cut on it and it works decently well the problem is how long trees are and uh that's that's probably the biggest thing and my, my whole goal of this was I, I know you can get out you know you can weld trees to stuff and whatnot but I was trying to make it as as no least hands-on as possible just drive go up and then you leave with wood like you know refined wood you know but that just is not an option uh, at the moment, from what I've been able to discern, um, let's go over this way and angle it up. Actually, let me just do it like this, make it a little bit faster, like right about here. So uh, now what this does do, it is pretty dang e effective with it. Um, I'm almost tempted on turning like the bed of this into like a lumber mill type saw area. And then, you know, then you'd have to manually bring stuff in. Now, I don't extend the pistons. I just let the pistons put the pressure on the tree itself. Um, also, I have a way of lowering the arms on it like this Let's go ahead and go ahead yeah, there we go there we go. get down get down there you go and then we press one lock it in and it's on there generally speaking it's not the other arms and make it whatever we'll try this anyway this is probably gonna suck 
bring out the blades and they angle down and hopefully we're up high enough and then we press one oh, it's wrong one wrong one lock it lock it lock it lock it okay there we go there we go then we press uh four five to bring it up and then it's gonna go up and flip it around and then whoo bring it forward and then it drops it in the bed and let me just whoa what are you doing man let's try that again drop it there you go and then it drops it in typically though uh what if i can grab it again and then what if i can pull it back like this there we go and then grab that there we go and then push it back some there we go oh cool it did work and then let it go there we go and bring it up and then close the back of this gate down and then you press seven and instant wood <laughs> so that part works pretty good when you start adding in resource collectors and refineries and stuff into the mix that's when the weight problem comes in and the fps really drops uh as, as it is right now this thing actually is pretty good on fps even with these pieces just sitting on here that piece is not that bad uh in compared to the other monster that we had so um you know for now i've just been bringing over the scorpion and stuff and and and, and just you know, picking up the pieces and whatnot but i figured i'd show you what we got so far I think something like this that would be like twice as long um, in a stationary position and having like maybe a tree scorpion and with a trailer or something and just use that to grab and you know, cut down the trees and then weld it to the trailer and just keep on going then bring it back to base uh, and and then refining it at the base with something larger on a larger scale than this would probably be the, 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 the most. Uh, you know, this is one thing, the time value, this is what we're going for, the time value. So the amount of time put into it versus what you get on the output compared to other methods in getting it is what we're trying to achieve uh, efficiency on, um, mostly. So that that's kind of where we're at. I just want to show you that. It's nighttime. We're going to go back to the base and start building here in a second. All right, welcome back, and we're here. And I've uh, got the stuff grinded up. I had some more logs I got real quick while I was sitting there. Uh, our wood, this is from all the wood testing, and that's from the leftover hay bots. <laughs> um, what we've gotten so far. So we've got a decent amount of wood from that. A lot of that's going to get refined in at least tier one, maybe some tier two wood for the base stuff. Also, as you can see here, I've already started out a basic chassis and uh, placed the gas tank down just to kind of get some ideas of how I want to do it. Um, I used tier two metal for the bottom of this. And we have tier one, just kind of fill it in because I don't, we're going to try and get, well, let's look at the, let's look at the mark one, uh, level of scorpion here. As you can see, it's, it's actually a little back heavy because of how I did this initially. I put all the weight in the back just so I could balance out the, the forks in the front. Um, and then after the fact is when I added in the refinery and stuff, it's done a decent job for what it is. I've taken off the resource, resource collector at the top. Don't really need it because of the ones on the side and since it can pull from the sides it's not necessary to have it so what i'm planning on doing here is actually we're going to go ahead and just see if we get oh, the wrong thing i don't need you yet i need you and we're going to rotate you and see if we can put you all up on this guy right here and get it as close to the center as possible maybe is that centered i think it is it's just the the actual we can test it with blocks uh oh by the way you can see i have consolidated chests from around the globe <laughs> and made a much more made a bunch more um this is uh, why mostly the episode took so long to get because i was having to get the mats together to get this put together so i could actually manage the inventory we have and um we could do color coding on chest to know what's what but i really wish we had signs with like text we could enable you know we could just stick on the side of this like a sticker or something or right here or even when we had a thing like in our UI when it says use or pick up, have a little title that pops up near our cursor right below the crosshairs that says like has an editable text that we could use or something. I don't know. I wish we had something along those lines. But as you can see, I tried to organize uh, what we have gotten so far into a, a manageable manner of stuff. And this is all just like placeables pretty much of what we've gotten from um, going to the warehouse. <laughs> and so that's that. Over here, I have blocks set up. And then over here, I've got like, this. these are the old faithfuls. And then over here, I have those ones. And then we have controller parts and pistons and stuff. Uh, most of this has been taken from the old uh, uh, tree destroyer we had before. Um, and some of it, some new stuff I've crafted up in, in anticipation. Also, um, I made some more of the tier, I have more tier two blocks as you can see here on the on the ground. So anyway, let's do some testing here. Okay, that wor that's there. And does this one go here? It does. Okay, so it is centered. Um, even though the, the model itself is a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Um, also let's go ahead and grab our seat and see if we can get that down on here. Here's a seat.
Okay, that looks kind of cool. Um, we're gonna have that put in the engines. I'd like to be able to hide the engine somewhere in a, in a nice, clever manner. Uh, do the engines... I have some engines in here, right? I have the engines from the other one. Alright, there's that one, and here's another one. We only need two. How f Okay, this can actually go in here. Like that. The only thing I'll need access to will be the gas canister once we tune in the pieces. Uh, I probably should upgrade you in the end. Yeah, I'll probably upgrade you in the end just to make you more efficient. One thing I wish we could get, like with pistons and stuff, uh, when we upgrade things, uh, like like these guys here, I think... Uh, oh, they're right there. I have this one as, as, as level one. Um, I wish we had an option to like trade out speed for strength, like or stability. Like, like I wish we had some more stats we could mess with, so we could come out with variable kind of things, like our, depending on our needs. So, like a piston, you know, we have it, and we could uh, choose to upgrade it, but upgrade it for four strength and stability instead of range and speed and stuff. I think that'd be really cool if we have things like that. Same with the bearings, we had a way to upgrade bearings to uh, be stronger or whatever. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think that I wish that was something to have, so we could kind of make some other things like uh, task specific on our interactive pieces. But it is what it is. So anyway, the front end of here, I decided this is one of the larger swoopy doos we've got, and then the couple of the 90s on top of it for front end steering. And I only just brought out a couple pieces of tier two here. I would like to get into trying to use these guys on this though. It'd be pretty neat if we could like get something to work. Yeah, I don't really like that. I like having this little bit of piping I've got in the front here. Can we put this on the side? Ooh, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's go here. And there's that. Let's grab you. And go up. And can we put you th 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 Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Are those the right directions? They don't look like they're the same. Oh, this one's upside down, it looks like, I think. I want to make sure it matches. We're going to do this. We're trying for some aesthetics today. There it is up that way. There we go. They match now. I like that. It kind of looks like it leads into the sides like that some. Uh, let's see. I would like to be able to do something here too. Uh, to give it some meanness. It is a scorpion. We're trying to make it scorpion-esque. Like when we get to the metal, we're like, get over here. Um... Huh, maybe... Can we move this guy and then do something here? Oh, I kind of like that. Wait a minute, what if we did right here? Oh, I really like that. And that's gonna make... I'm mean, gonna have to be kind of clever where we place our ends, though. And that would leave rooms for room for buttons and whatnot on the sides. I guess we could fill this in with more blocks to give it a uh, center mass or something like that. Yeah, I guess that would probably look a little bit better. Let's do this like that. Just make it a little bit quicker and then you're down here all right welcome back and uh we've got this thing set up and i decided to put the engines underneath where the gas canister is right now i don't necessarily like how it looks aesthetically but right now it, it's it's there maybe we can make something dress it up once we kind of get going uh it's kind of funny with this right here by the way, I put up some lights if you can't tell over there. Uh, but with this right here, our front end, I think we're a little bit longer of a wheelbase than the original, uh, the Mark One Scorpion. So I think it's kind of cool. We're, we're, um, uh, I want I like the size of it. It really feels like you can get in the nitty gritty, get the job done, and get out. And then get by the time you get home, you have full resources. So it's pretty cool how it's just lining up. And I do like how uh, where the refinery is put at. It gives it more of a body feel to it. I really wish we could build off the top of that and like having the arm like look like it's coming from the refinery. Maybe we could do something here with it or something. I don't know. Oh, we could end up doing that. That might be the way to go to uh, make it look like something when we do the, the arm, the tail, the tail of it coming up, the stinger, if you will. And we're going to do something different uh, than what was there. I think I'm going to try and put a drill on the suspension or something for the top to come down while we're drilling. That would be really cool because then it looks like it's stinging it with the drill, which is what we're kind of do. But anyway, it's time to get the front end done. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more functions to it than what we have already here. This this array or setup of drills, I really do like a lot. I like how they function. But I want a way to bring the, 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 the whole thing up or down. And so I'm going to do like a, a piston setup maybe. Like, I don't know. I've had some people like like comment like 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 
Like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I kind of don't. <laughs> I'm having fun playing the game and trying to figure out how to make things work. Uh, I'm, I'm never claimed to be an expert, so, you know, uh, you know, that, I'm just saying, you know, it just is what it is. You know, I've never, uh, if, if someone mistook anything like that, I mean, I, I guess they generally don't care that yet, but I just figured I'd just say that. Um, and these guys can be together. Those guys are together. Those guys are together. Okay, cool. So this will go up and down. Um, that's our front end. And then now we're back to where we're this, this is, which sucks we have that much going on in the front already, but really... It's kind of what we already have anyway, so it's not that bad of a, of a problem. It's, we got this. Okay, let's go right here and grab you. Put this on the sides. That light is going to bother me during the day, so I need to actually. I should connect them all and put it on a switch. Wait, the light's on one. Are you on? You're on twenty. Let's see if this helps out. Okay, that's that's better. That's better. Okay, cool. Um, and so we have that on. Now we got to do our arms and our width of the drills. As you can see here, comes in one, two, three. We have three-ish. And we're going to do the same kind of thing where the twisty turns on it. Um, but I want to use the tier two wood because it is stronger and heavier duty. So oh, actually, let's go ahead. And, what am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm having fun. <laughs> All right. Let's bring this over here. Let's bring this over here. And so we have the arms out there. And then we're going to add on our pistons. Where's the pistons at? Right there. I hope I have enough. I think I do. Piston here, piston here. So this is what's going to allow the, the pinchers to spread, if you will. All right. And now this part comes out. And we're just going to come out about that far. Is that the right? Yes. Yeah, right. Oh, I want this to look a little bit different. Oh, it has. Oh, cool. It has a line on it. That's kind of neat. When we paint this thing up, I bet you it's going to make it look kind of cool. Cool factor is a must. Okay. So uh, we need some more pistons again. I am so prepared ish let's just grab all the pistons and we're gonna have to i wonder if i'm gonna use the same thing for our twisty thingies too i'm just gonna put these guys here that's a technical term by the way um so as you can see here we have pistons and then we have the curve and then we have a, a bearing and then we have the piston going i mean the curve going into the bearing and then the drill so what this does is allows when the bearing will rotate the head towards the ground and then I have the piston come out one space so it keeps the drills together so it maximizes like the coverage in a, in a controlled area instead of having little gaps and stuff like that, that that kind of makes it happen. So we have that. This is the width. Oh, we have the same width, right? This, this goes, yeah, one, two, three, right? Okay, cool. I'm just making sure I, I, I have the refer it's just referencing. And how much do these weigh? Again, I think I chose these guys over that because of weight issues. And I really don't mind how they look. Weight. And weight. But since we're using the lighter wood, we might be able to get away with it and still have decent coverage. The thing I'm worried about is the pistons um, holding up and down. But we'll see here. I kind of like that better, honestly. It looks a little more beefy. The beefy sushi spice and let's do this here and then we're putting on more so we have if you guys are trying to build this we have a piston angle bearing angle uh bearing there we go and then the drill goes on the end all right we got the front end together so you can see it's the same thing yes there's a lot of a lot of interactive points but basically what we've done is to kept just what with the piston angle bearing angle bearing and just flip-flopped it for the second set of interior drills and then exterior ones we left a little space there and went up three more out from the arms and just added bearings in the drills so uh there you have it we, again we have the two controllers here and then we have two more controllers i decided to put these in here it's going to do some stretchy time i'm going to use it on the closer areas uh just because I don't know if I'm going to need all of them or not, but I went ahead and put them in there. And that way, we just, it's just kind of like all cohesive-ish. So this is the moment we've kind of... I've been waiting for. I don't know about you guys, but um, here it goes. Is it on the right? It looks like it's on the right. We did it right. Oh, that's upside down. That looks different than this one. We can't have that. Uh, let's do that then. Let's do it again. I, I'd like to have it look like right. There we go. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> We're trying to make this look as, as clean as possible with what we have. Um, and it's at this right now. It looks like it's the same exact level, but we can change the height with with the uh, loveliness over here uh, of our of our pistons and stuff like that. And the thing is, too, the arms will be when we drive it. The arms will be up, 
So I'm going to grab the wheels right now. Do I have some in here? Don't I have some wheels? I do. Nice, 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 nice. We're, we're with the winners. Uh, this goes here. And I want to see how I will, like, handle the weights. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's already low on the ground there. Huh. Maybe I don't need those downward ones then. But if I remove them and then I don't... No, 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 no. What I, I need the downward ones because it, sometimes you work at an angle and whenever you're trying to hit the stuff on the ground, yeah, yeah, we need to do that then. We need to leave it there. And then, oh, we need to work out this back end here too. I kind of, well, let's leave it on there for now because I think what we'll do is maybe fill this in and we can, might be able to move the engines back here. That That's going to be the winner, I think. Uh, let's grab I have some 90s. I need some more 90s here. And we'll just go ahead and roll with this at the moment again for testing. And then we'll clear it up here. In a, oh, I don't need that there like that. What are you doing, man? <laughs> uh, actually, let's make that solid right here. And then we can put you right here. Put this here. Put this here. And again, I'm running this with no suspension because I don't necessarily, I don't. Like, this is not going to be for, like, a sport ride. This is pure utility. I don't plan to go super fast with it at all. So we should be okay. Should be a very powerful word. There we go. There's that. And then, we'll, oops, we need to go ahead and throw that on there. We still have clearance for the wheels, so we won't be doing any rubbing. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach these to the driver's seat. Just so they don't go flopsy when we drop this thing. And I'm going to use this side for our driving. And in a perfect world, I probably would actually like to have the front drills on their own motor as well. But we're trying to keep this semi-compact-ish. And so I don't want to, like, I'd have to expand it for sure if I wanted to get away with, with doing that. And I don't, I don't mind this being like that. And now we're going to have the front end's going to get all flopsy. So, let's see. We want to get the 90s. We're going to have how many functions on here? We're going to have the rotating up. We're going to have the opening out. And then we'll have the rotation input moving into the piston. So, we'll have three from this front end alone as it stands. Uh, these pistons here, I'll probably put on just buttons and have them on slow. That way, I can kind of just like gauge it as I need it. So, let's do this guy. Um, let's see. Who's the closest? We'll do you right here for now. We'll just do it like this. So you're there. There's the spaghetti starting. So this, these uh, bearings right here at the bottom of this piston, these are the ones that will rotate the arms up and down like how this is now. Uh, I want it to, when it rotates, it's in a red to go up. Negative position, if you will. There's that. Okay, cool. And then we have the pistons are going to go on their own. So we'll go ahead and put those guys on this one. And then these sections here... Where these guys are actually, let me go ahead and connect these bearings for you on the motor now. So it pulls it out of the equation of stuff. So now these guys are here and I want to have it where when it grinds, let's actually look at it from the front here. When it grinds, it pushes the rock towards the scorpion and the front here towards the center of it. So it kind of keeps it all together, generally speaking. Okay, so that's in. Now we're going to go ahead and hook up our loveliness of the drill array of movements. And so we're going to do the these guys first. Then those bearings next. And then we'll throw in our pistons. I think I've got enough. Uh, I might have to level up the controller. Is it max connections? Nope, we're good. Actually, that one should be last. And then, then you... And then you. So now these guys are hooked up. The only thing left to do is to connect these to buttons. Well, let's just see if it handles it all right. Okay. Uh, do I have any switches on me? Let's get some switches. Here. And I'm going to need one more button, I believe. All right. So the front end. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some buttons installed. Uh, we'll do them like this. Alright, switch is installed. Okay, and let's hit this for the 90s. And we'll put you first. And then we'll program you. This is for the swing arms to come up. And we made it to where I want to have it whenever it's in a neutral state. They, they are up. So now they're up. And then now when we press the button we or the switch, we want it to go down.
and it's doing it very smoothly considering that it's hitting the ground and why does it feel like it the back end is raised it is raised great i need to redo my front end all right give me a second Okay, I fixed it. And what I did is I re redid the piping here to have one of these and put one of these cool looking pieces in there and redid that. And I kind of like how that squiggle looks on there. The pistons are weird on how they line up. I had an issue too. Uh, I didn't account for the new piston system in here. So uh, the tips of the bottom drills were actually hitting on this and messing it up. So I moved my forks forward three. Actually, no, no, no. I moved the pistons back one and then put to forward three just so the spacing looks right uh so now when we we set it up oops wrong button now when we set it up i get hit upside the face but it, it actually closes incorrectly in space correctly <laughs> let's okay i'm gonna reattach you i have redone my buttons too uh and switches so now we have four switches ready and two buttons i hope that's good enough i didn't do any counts let's just put wait did i not attach you correctly i did not probably we're the losers right now. Uh, that, right, that is not there. It is going to this one. Okay. Oh, I didn't set up my redo my um, controller. Yeah. So we're gonna wait. Hit the switch. Those bad boys should go down. No problem. Up. No problem. So now we're at a good point, and it is at a full ninety, and it doesn't look like it's. Uh, oh, it is. No, it's that's just the movement of the pistons. Okay, cool. And I don't mind a little bit of wiggle room. Um, and it looks weird, but it's, I think it's just the, the distance, the, 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 the depth of field or whatever it is might be, um, that gives it kind of what looks like it's pressed out. I don't think those are colliding. And if they are, that's fine. I'd rather have me crunchy time in a little bit because we can probably usually run with the, the pistons open. Okay. So this controller here, uh, we need to make it to where we'll do actually let's, eh, let's do it like that. Let's just see how fast she is and move it to whenever we engage it's open. Um, so we'll take you and put you on the next guy right here and add you in because that's the second function usually for it. And we're not touching the wheels. We're good to go. Okay. And that opens and closes, obviously, and we can go like this. Nice. And there is a little bit of a dip in the front, but it's not horrible. Hopefully the pistons will be able to handle the, the changing -ness of stuff. Um, I think what we'll do to, well, we don't need to really add a setting to it. I'm going to do the, all those are open and closing and then we need the rotational. Okay. So here's the big part. I guess a lot of people probably are having issues with, and I know the spaghetti already. So bear with me here. This controller again is attached to the piston to each drill and the rotation bearing to each drill. So what we want to do is make sure that the red is facing down whenever it, it's whichever the rotation is it's rotating to where it goes down um and that's what we're doing there don't get hurt get out of that there we go that's rotating down and then this one here is now rotating down and then we can go into this and so whenever we engage we just wanted to go 90 degrees and then we also do we want to do one on the pistons, it's as simple as that. At the same time, and I'm gonna move it up to about this speed. I like to kind of like, like massage it in there. You know what I'm saying, just massage it in there. All right, let's see how this works. Let's actually put it down first. End of the rotation. It is a little close. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we got it worked out, figured it out. It's just, it just, it's gonna, it does a little bit of that squeeziness on the edges. When it, when it opens and closes, it's just going to be a thing. The other one has it. I think part of it, too, is that we have lighter weight wood and the pistons on the front end. I did end up raising the front end more because it was touching the ground, too. So the starting position is going to be higher with the pistons. Um, since this is a smaller machine, too, I really don't feel like uh, that. Since And this is an all-in-one. So I don't think we're going to lose that many frames with it having a little bit of pressure there. And I think we'll be okay. As in, I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, let's go ahead and make an upwards and downwards button. So that one's there. Do I have any other attached to it? Okay. I'd, and you go back to here. And then, oops. And then we go into you and make an upwards -y kind of thing going on. Let's have it go up. Let's, let's try it. Let's just do five. Let's see how, and it has a window of it to move. Let's move it to like there. And I thought I, oh, I, I detached you. Okay. Let's attach you again. Oh, there we go. 
Wait, what? You're not attached to me. Wait, what is, what is... Okay, that one's attached there. Let's go to here. Okay, whatever. Okay, that's how long it takes to go up at that speed. Let's do full speed and maybe go up to seven. I might end up making go higher later on. There we go. And then for the downwards movement, let's let's make that one attached just straight to a button here. And when it's engaged, it goes down. Let's see. We might just do two. Just so I can get down on that ground pretty hard. Because sometimes we have little ones that stick out of the ground and I don't want that. Oops, and I need to attach you. And then we do them together. It's a little flopsy, but it, it does the job. All right, cool. I, I do like how that's looking. It looks it's looking looking like it can handle the stuff. All right, cool. That works for me. I'm down with that. Okay, so we got that worked out. Sorry about this. I'm not trying to be all whatever, but you know, I'm again learning as I go with this, some of this too, and it, it's been pretty fun. I've been enjoying it. Um, I wish we could throw a collider in there too. Like, if I, I really wish I could just... Wait, you can? How does that mess with it whenever you start it up? Is it going to flip out of the, out of the ground? Is it going to be all crazy? I just want to see. Maybe I should just leave it, like... Whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> that is super duper weird, man. Wow! Okay, uh, is this okay? I didn't know that was a thing. And it's not attached anymore. That is super duper weird. Oh god, I gotta be careful. <laughs> no, no. Let's get rid of that. Okay, it's still attached. Okay, can I can I wait, can I like lower this back down? And then re-weld it. Okay, it looks No, it's not. It's that is weird. Wait, so are you... That is super funny weird. Okay, let's get rid of you, and let's put you back on the lift. <laughs> wow, okay. Scrap mechanic. Alright, let's go here. Let's put you on this. Let's remove you. Let's put you on this. And then take you, put you back on that. No, just want to get to there. There we go. And then put this on two. And this is seven. I might remove this functionality later if I find it, it's not really as helpful as I think it might be. But right now, it looks set up. Now, let's go ahead and put a little bit of gas. Uh, I think I have... I'm going to steal some gas from you right quick, sir. There we go. Let's just see how she drives at the moment before we start adding on more weight. And are you attached? You are attached. Okay. And then we need to give you some power. Let's just get you right here. Okay, and you're all on there, right? Right, everything's in, everything's there. Oh, we need to get gas to the U. There we go. And I need to fix the front end. It actually drives way better already. Oh yeah, that's that's actually a really nice drive, actually. And with that weight on there, she handles really good. Oh my god. New daily driver! And I'm holding up pretty good on my frame rate. Okay, I'm surprised at this. Uh, it's actually driving really good. Okay, cool. All right, so we got that up. Um, what I'm going to do then is do a little bit more detail work on it and get a tail started on this thing, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And this has taken a phenomenal amount of time to do. Uh, it's just been really, uh, like, actually getting paint. <laughs> it's been the issue. I, had, I, had, I thought I had a good amount. Apparently, I don't. Let's just, oops, I gotta raise this up. There we go. We're gonna open it up and bring it back in. And the cool thing that I've noticed here, too, I'm glad I put the down thing on this, the, the downward pistons, because that really helped out a lot with, like, 
being efficient with the stuff. And I got my little stinger on the top too. I would say that's not necessary in this build, but I thought it would just add to the scorpionness of it. Maybe I'll end up uh, putting another berry and kind of point down a little bit, just so that we're we're good to go with like the visuals of it to make it scorpion-like. There we go. This is here, and then we're gonna push it down. Oops, I'm, I'm doing really bad right now. I'm actually super tired. Oh, come on. This is not, I would actually probably jump out and do this by hand here, but uh, it, it seems to work okay. Let's at least try the tail out. I don't, again, I don't know how good we're gonna actually do with it. I do like the fact that we're able to pull it in and it's automatically doing, excuse me, Mr. Walk, we got work to do. Walk, okay, thank you. Uh, by the way, this is really effective for killing enemies for some reason, which is nice. So let's get this up here and then I'm gonna close it on it with this, like those in. So maybe it'll help grab it, that'd be nice. No, it didn't help grab it. Okay, we'll open it up back up and we'll turn on, we'll do seven. It's right there. Let's do six. Oh, I don't even have it attached to a, <laughs> my help. Yeah, that might help if I have you attached. That would be a really good to do, I think. All right, yeah, look at the spaghetti. You like the spaghetti? Hey, can I just, oh really? This is kind of like fondling it. There we go, it's on top. Ah, it was on top. Okay, I don't really think this is really worth it. No, I could have been already had this taken apart by using my my claws. That's still pretty, oops, wrong button. By the way, I added the uh, the, the lighting we got from those booths on the sides. It actually adds a nice, nice spread of it. And in the front end, um, we have like two eyes on either side just to kind of give it more of that look. And then I put ones up on the edges on the top for the little, uh, the, the, what you call the piping I used to set up the claw. Um, again, or the tail. The tail isn't necessary, but it, it's around. And I added some blue and I ran out of paint for this. Or do I, I still have a little bit. Oh God, I should have just done like this to save paint. It is really crazy how expensive paint is. Like, like how much, like you can do a whole area with one or you can do one individual piece with one. And I mean, expensive, but you go through a lot of paint. Like it, it, is, it is serious. Like in a build like this, I was surprised at how much paint I actually used. But I, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, it's like, this is the Mark II. I don't know if there's gonna be any other Mark versions of this. We might just try something different in the future. Excuse me, Mr. Walk. Oh, oh, we didn't even. My bad, I apologize. We'll, we'll send, we'll, we'll, uh, can I send you an apology letter or something? Anyway. Um, again, like the front end generally works the same anyway. The, the big changes is the center of gravity and stuff, but um, it, it's still, the other one's still pretty effective. This one just looks a little bit cooler, I think. Um, and, and it actually handles pretty nicely. I get a little bit of sliding time on it, but I prefer to have a mobile vehicle over other things for doing stuff. So anyway, that's what we got. That is the time I got for today. Hope you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to sign the like button. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all, have a good night.